Good morning, good morning. It's Jenny Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a flip, a five cup flip pour. I have got a whole tray of paints made up. These are for my week of painting. So I've made all those paints up earlier, well, about 12 hours ago, I suppose, now, early this morning. Um, I've made all my paints up. And they will do quite a number of pours so if anybody uh, that knows me I don't measure or know exactly how much paint for each pour I just make a nice big batch up of paints of colors that I'm fancy that day and then merrily go on my way and pour and pour and pour until those paints are all gone trying all different styles and so forth so there we go that's my story for today so i'm not gonna i haven't got any set plan of exactly what colors out of that whole tray which is uh four eight twelve colors um what what i'm gonna go i'll just go by eye as i go along and see what i fancy doing so this one is navy and I make this up myself out of the phalo blue blob of black and a blob of dark green so that is my navy that I make um, now what 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 okay I've got this color this was an old color that I had I'm not sure what brand it was it's kind of like a mustardy color so it kind of reminds me of a sand color so I'm going to do two cuts might come out like a beachy theme not sure so I'll keep that aside kind of reminds me of a sand color so I'll go with those in a couple of the cups this is the turquoise with a blob of blue added it sends it a little bit deeper just for a change it's nice to um, do something different for a change um, okie doke what do I want to go here see this is when you don't really have a plan <laughs> you're just going by sight this is the pink pale pink did add white to this pink to send it paler paler pale to send it pale is that the right word now all of these paints have um, the pouring medium that's in the drop down box and they all have uh, three drops of Helmar silicone in them so and this is the um, violet violet it's called this one looks a little bit thick but we'll keep with it keep with it um, I'll go back to the navy oh I haven't put I've just noticed a painting that I've done a flies kind of doing backstroke in it oh get out of town you horror fly oh my goodness I've got my ah, get out of it get out see now you're gonna not like that okay keep focused keep focused she says i've got my lovely um fly nets that i will put over them when i but i thought oh, i'll finish finish doing the paintings that i'm doing today and then i'll put my fly nets over them which i'll show you so we can get those now from capriole shabby chic so even though it's winter in australia i've still got a few flies around because obviously it's not as cold as most places in Australia uh, so these are the fly nets that you can put over it's like a cake fly net I won't put it open at the minute but they come in different sizes so I got them from Capriole Shabby Chic so that was a nice um, find that they're now stuck in the fly nets especially for us in Australia and I suppose if you need them in the US or um, Europe you can get them off Amazon I really need to 
um, find an Amazon affiliate, I think, or however you do that with for my US people. So I've got a, a Amazon affiliate with the Montmart and other things that I use. So just not sure how to do that. So that's my. Um, I won't use that one right now. I'll go back to this moss sort of sand colour. It's definitely sand. Sandy colour. Oh, the goodness, that fly is still walking. It's got like a bucket load of paint on its back. Well, you really deserve to be washed off and set free because that is a monumental <laughs> task to walk with all that paint on your back. I'll go back to the turquoise. I have no idea um, if these colours are all... I mean, they, they should be absolutely fine. I'll just go by what my heart is telling me to do. And it's saying, it'll be fine. Now, somebody asked me the other day, have you ever done a flip cup and then kissed as well? Because I always do swipes and balloon kissing. And I have definitely done a flip cup and, oh, maybe a year, maybe more than a year ago, I've done a few of those, but I haven't done them recently. So that's what I may end up doing with the, this particular paw. I may do the flip cup and um, balloon kissing. So five cup flip and I will try and flip from, maybe flip from the centre out. I think that should be plenty. Still got plenty of paint to play with here for other pours this week. Oh, there's a bit of white here, I didn't miss my white. Actually, I've got this little bit of white here. I have a little bit of white left and it was white with Floetrol that I'd mixed trying other things uh, over the weekend. So I might just put a bit of this on the top. It's the only bit that's got Floetrol in it. It's quite thick too. So I don't know if it'll make anything any different in it. But you know, you can only try. Only try. Yeah. It's a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker than some. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As I say every time, thank you for your lovely comments that you always give to me. I really appreciate that. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Okay. So we might do these in the centre out. Might find that I don't need... Um, Five. Let's see. I can do each one. Okay. Yeah, go over here. If I need the fifth one, I will go for it, but I'm going to pull them out. Outwards. Outwards we go. Let's see. So, easy wizzy, let's get busy. Just let the paint um, just go down nice and slow. It's a right old mixture of colours in these. Oh, look at that. Completely different. Ooh. So. Now to do my flip and lip. I think Carol, Karen, Oz, uh, Karen Dernish was the one to start that name, flip and lip. Not as I say to you all, everything's been done before, but I think she kind of definitely started the name flip and lip. I think people had actually flipped it and lipped it, but not called it anything. So there you go. I'm not going to use that. I love this purple side. Look at this. Ooh. 
wowzers, trousers. I've got another one there. I might just do the flip cup on its own. That'll be another one. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Let's put these cups out the way so I don't go waving my arms around and knocking anything over. So it's just nice and gently, just a gentle tilt. Tilting your paint around the canvas. I didn't want to add any heat to this until after I've kind of done the tilt. No particular reason why, just do it after I've done the tilt. So I'm just going to make sure the canvas is covered first before I go tilting it all off. Wow, it's looking lovely. I like it. Just nice and gentle. This is your relaxation and your therapy session too. Out in your art room, whether you're with a friend or your husband or partner. Just doing something that gives you joy. Look at those cells in that purple. That's gorgeous and I'm going to have to tip a bit of them off. not going to worry too much about that corner because I've got paint in the cups that I can tip over that and I absolutely don't mind doing that. So it's kind of just walk your paint down your canvas. Side to side gently, nice and gently. Oh look at that purple's gone up there completely different than the others. Wow. Wowzers, trousers. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Wow, as I said, I've got a bit of paint in my cup. I'm not gonna just try and tip the whole, lose everything by tipping over my corners. So just putting your paint over the corners with the paint that you've got left in the cups or what you've already tilted off is absolutely fine. When it's had a bit of heat onto it, it'll, um, it'll sell up just like the rest, I would imagine, normally does. It's all good. I haven't really got much on this corner to cover, so that's all good. Oh, look at this and the cells through there. Wow. Okie dokie. So I'll get my um my heat wand, wonder wand. Just trying to put my, I used my hair dryer just before in a Dutch pour, Dutch pour Aussie kiss thing. So just trying to rearrange the whole lot. Okay. Just burst the air bubbles all through your paint, getting rid of any air bubbles. And then it kind of just comes to life. Oh, look at those cells popping up. Beautiful. Love it. Just with the heat gun, it just takes a little bit longer to heat the paint up to make it react than it does with a um, butane torch. But so much safer. Oh, look at those in that purple. Lovely. I am going to leave that to develop. That's becoming gorgeous. Oh, I've got a little bit. See where you've missed out? Just give it a finger popping. It's no stress. You can do that. 
Julie's rule said you can do that, so you can do that. I'm going to just leave it to develop now. I'll maybe leave it 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, it just allows the paint to absorb into the canvas. And then I'm going to come back and do, as requested, a balloon kiss over a flip cup. But there you go, it's full of cells, so it'll actually get some gorgeous um, balloon kisses through that. I will just try, have I got a balloon blown up? No. I will, I was going to say, I'll just try before I leave, but I, I'll come back and do that. And I'll be back in a jiffy. Well, it's been over half an hour now. I did just try the balloon in the one corner here and it's still quite wet but you know I just love this so much looks like gems I'm really reluctant to do anything to it even though it was a request I might just put a little band of balloon kisses through there but if it's not doing anything for the painting and it's not actually improving it I will not do it so let's just see Ah, wow, too much paint. It needs a lot more drying. See how the paint all just falls in? So just wipe your balloon off after every balloon kiss. Just keep, I think maybe this one. I'll just do a few balloon kisses and then I'm going to leave it because I just love the fact that it's I'm not going to touch that. It just looks so much like gems. So, just a few. Just so I can say I did as requested a flip cup and balloon kissing. But I'm just doing the balloon kissing through on the diagonal. Because I just love the rest of it so much. But there is way... It could, you know, there's a lot of paint on there and it really would benefit drying off a bit. It's just that I have to go out now. So I know that when I come back, it will be too dry. So I'll just give it those minimal balloons through the center on the diagonal, as I said. And then I'm going to call it a day. So just a few. And then we retain all the gems because it, it is beautiful I'm really happy with that I mean if you like cells uh, gorgeous cells that end up looking like gems I mean then it's a keeper so hope you enjoyed that guys and um, person that asked me for the uh, balloon kiss on top of a um, flip cup paw there you go voila gems 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 looks just divine wait on for the end um photos because there you will really see the definition of all those lovely cells within cells and kind of a whole s things that you can pick out within the painting i'm really happy with that so i hope you like that guys let me know what you think um and until next time so wait on for the uh photos at the end and I may have a nana joke too I may have a nana joke so until then thank you thanks so much for joining me bye for now nana joke for today what do you call a chicken with a bit of lettuce in the corner of its eye chicken caesar salad Okay, you can roll your eyes. Yep, that was the Nana joke for today. Thank you, guys.